Since I couldn't think of a fun fact for the Kershaw Clash, I just want to take this time to thank everyone who watches and comments on my videos. I really enjoy this, and I look forward to making more videos in the future. Thanks again, and I hope you guys enjoy watching. Now for a size comparison, we have the Kershaw Clash here, compare it to the Kershaw Leak. Above that is going to be the Spyderco Delica, and then the Spyderco Paramilitary. Alright everyone, I have another knife review for you today. In this video we're going to be talking about the Kershaw Clash. I have had and been using this in my EDC for the past couple months off and on. So I figured it was time to give you guys a review and let you check it out. So to start off with we're going to take a look at the outside of the handle scales on the Kershaw Clash. Handle scales are made out of a glass filled nylon, very similar to an FRN. All right, if you look at the handle scales you can see it has a rib texture to it. It doesn't give it too much grip, but it allows you to have some type of, of surface to secure it in your hand when you're using it. All right, This is on both sides. It's nothing aggressive like G10. If you're looking for something more aggressive, uh, this is definitely not the handle scale that you're, that you're looking for. We flip it on the other side, you can see the pocket clip. Kershaw's a fixed, actual, a decent pocket clip for once to one of their knives. This is a little bit thicker, a little bit wider pocket clip. It really helps uh, because the weight of the knife is a little bit it's a little bit heavier knife, so you need something to help distribute that weight while it's in your pocket. And it doesn't doesn't allow the knife to you know bend over or sink down in your pocket. Very nice and secure. Only downside is that it's only oriented for tip up or tip down on the right side. They have not drilled anything on the left side for the lefties out there. And for me, that's a real big hit because I have a left-handed girlfriend and she likes carrying knives, and I'm always looking for companies and individual knives that are ambidextrous in every single way. And Kershaw has started to uh, kind of go with that trend, but I would like to see it across their entire product line and uh, along with this Clash as well. All right, it does have full length, pretty darn thick steel liners. All right, definitely add to some of the weight and it does have a glass filled nylon backspacer here pretty much goes the full length of the knife. Only this small section here cut out to allow the flipper to flow through. Okay, does uh, deploy with the flipper very fast using the speed safe assisted opening mechanism. So every single time it's going to be a fast continuous action. All right, not a problem at all. I do have an issue with the flipper however. Uh, it is a little bit sharp on the edges. Uh, it was not rounded off from the factory and if you're, you have sensitive fingers or if you're just hit at the wrong angle it definitely can dig into your finger and cause you a little bit of discomfort. So I really wish Kershaw had taken the time and um, smoothed that out a little bit. For the price of the knife I understand that it's not going to take the extra time but it is very uncomfortable at least for me. Alright now I'll look at the blade. Kershaw gives us 
a drop point 8 CR13 MOV blade, nice recurve in there, extremely sharp from the factory. Kershaw never disappoints with their sharpness from the factory. The 8 CR13 MOV has held up extremely well the time that I've used it. I haven't used it a great deal uh, under any hard circumstances, but for simple EDC tasks and chores, it's done perfectly fine and still to this day is, is nice and sharp. All right, we take a look at the bottom here, you can see the liner lock, All right? Nice lock up, there's no up and down play. There is, however, some side to side play that I've tried to correct with that pivot screw and have not been able to. So unfortunately, it's still there a little bit. That's not really a deal breaker for me. If there's up and down play, you know, I'm not gonna use a knife, but side to side play I can deal with. Price point for this knife, around $40 MSRP. If you do some shopping online, street price is around $20. So for what you're getting, I think it's a, a pretty darn good EDC. Now let's take a look at some of the positives for the Kershaw Clash. To start off with, it's a very inexpensive knife. Street price is gonna be around $20, but for what Kershaw is giving you, I think you get a lot of knife for the money. Secondly, it's a very fast and smooth opening knife using the Kershaw SpeedSafe assisted opening mechanism. It's going to be very consistent and very fast every single time. It's extremely sharp. I've never been disappointed from, with a factory edge from Kershaw. It's always razor sharp and uh, lasts quite a long time. And finally, the ergonomics on this knife are outstanding. It really allows you to get a good grip, a very secure and solid feel to the knife. This forward swirl here and the rest of the handle really lends itself well to be a comfortable and ergonomic user. All right, so now for some of the negatives. With positives always comes negatives. Unfortunately, Kershaw Clash has quite a few. To start it off, the weight of the knife. It is somewhat of a hefty knife. Definitely something I look for in EDC is something that's light, uh, even with a larger blade. You, know, you have something like the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which is a large knife, but for its size, it's, it's quite light. Unfortunately, with the full uh, stainless steel liners that are quite thick, along with the thicker blade itself, definitely adds to that weight. The pocket clip positions, unfortunately, is another hit. Only tip up or tip down for right side users. You can swap it if you want to, if you're right-handed, but there is no left-handed position for the southpaws out there. All right, there is a little bit of blade play like I mentioned, side to side. That is tolerable, but I would like to see the tolerances come in a little bit better. And finally, the flipper was sharp. On both sides of the, the flipper, it doesn't have a rounded edge, so it digs into your finger and can be quite annoying when you're trying to use a knife, especially if you're not paying attention to, to get your finger in the right position. So my final thoughts on the Kershaw Clash, I think it's a great knife for the money that you're paying, $20 give or take, you get a lot of knife for your money. It is a larger, thicker, heavier knife, definitely can be put through some hard use if you wanted it to, but for all intents and purposes, it's just a mid-weight EDC in my opinion. I think Kershaw did a great job with the overall design and function of the knife. There are always some improvements to be made like I mentioned with the negatives, but overall, I think it's an outstanding knife if you're in the market and you're a right-handed user definitely check it out and pick one up thanks for watching everyone i appreciate you taking the time to stop by i'll see you next time